All these curses will come on you. They will pursue you and overtake you until you are destroyed, because you did not obey the Lord your God and observe the commands and decrees He gave you. 46 There will be a sign and a wonder to you and your descendants forever. 47 Because you did not serve the Lord your God joyfully and gladly in the time of prosperity. 48 Therefore in hunger and thirst, in nakedness and dire poverty, you will serve the enemies the Lord sends against you. He will put an iron yoke on your neck until he has destroyed you. Don't put the blame on the Jews, as who allowed them in, in the first place? If God's laws has been done away with, then why do we have these problems? Compare the laws we now have and what God's laws are, and you can see that there's a difference. Have God's laws as the laws of the land and watch all our problems go away. There are people who make money off the way things are and that is why they don't want to change, that is why the pastors lie. Some don't know better because they were not taught this. But they are still without excuse because the Bible tells otherwise. Those that know better but don't change is because they don't want to lose their congregation, they don't want to lose their jobs. Once we return to God's laws, is when we become the head again and they become the tail again.